What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to create your own list of problems in Leak Code. So yes, what the hell did I just say? Yes, Leak Code uh, lets you create your own list of problems. So you can create like, let's say a uh, difficult problem list and you pick all the hard ones and you can put that in a list or you can pick like Google study guide and you know, pick ones that you feel like will help you study for a Google interview. Um, yeah, so if that's what you're interested in doing, I will show you how to do that really quick. It's really simple. Um, so you're going to want to go to the top right up here and then click on my lists. So that'll bring you here to your lists. Um, you can always just add a new list this way. So you just click the plus icon and then you have a new name for your list. So I'm going to name this one easy question. Click confirm. Okay, so we have easy questions. Um, and then now that we have this list, um, you can also change it from private to public. So if you want it to be public, anybody who checks out your account can see that you have this list and they can go through it and just see like what you have. So um, you can also share it, clone it, edit or delete it. So if you clone it, um, as you can see, you'll have another one right there. Um, anyways, so if you want to add some problems to this list, basically just go back to problems. Wait for the problems to load a little bit. Okay, um, so I want to add the easy questions that I think <laughs> are pretty easy. Uh, let's do this guy. Okay, so finally that loaded and as you can see once the questions loaded there is a little heart here and you can just add it to your list. Um, I'll add them to easy questions. The little check mark shows you that it's been added. Same, I can do it for a favorite. I can add it to multiple lists. And this is actually pretty cool. I like this. You can just create a new list right here if you want. You don't even have to go to the list. So um, you can go test list and then you can select private or public. Um, let's make that public, create, and there's test list and it automatically adds it to your list too. And then if you want to check out the list, basically just select the one that you want. Uh, wait, that just added it to the list. Yeah, if you don't want it to be added, you can just click it again. It'll go away. But if you want to open your lists, just click here. And we're back to the same page. So. Yeah, that's pretty much how you create a list and you add questions to it. Um, hopefully you guys found this quick video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.